Good morning, guys. So I have just arrived to Lowe's and last night I basically came up with all of my design concepts for my son's room. I have to paint today. I'm going to do a DIY project with his mattress. Now I'm at Lowe's because I have to get the hardware as well as some fabric to go around his box spring. Hopefully it makes the room look totally different because right now the room is struggling. It looks really bad. All right, so now I'm going to make a DIY platform bed. And this works out because my son did not want a headboard. He said he doesn't like those things. So whatever, less money that I have to spend. So I figured if I could cover up the box spring and just make it look a little bit more decorative, it would tie in with the room design. And I was able to get everything I think under $75 might even be cheaper I'll leave all of the information in the description box below so you guys can know how much money I actually spent but I know for a fact the drop cloth was only 20 bucks and then I got the rest of the hardware and the legs and the stain I got all that from Lowe's so basically to get this DIY project together all you have to do is staple the canvas fabric to the bottom of your box spring where the wooden parts are and you have to attach your hardware to the box spring which is what the legs are going to screw into and then you just stain your wood to the desired color that you like and you're pretty much done it's very 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 easy and I think that it gave the bed like a real polished look. So once I stained everything, I put some felt pads on the bottom and then I added more support to the middle just so that the bed wouldn't have that concave look after a while and it was actually easier than I thought it would be. And I did not waste my time staining the middle legs because nobody is going to see them. That is purely for support purposes only. So here it is. This is the drop cloth that I use, a six by nine, super duper easy. And now it's on to the TV media wall. So I'm going to repurpose these cabinets from Ikea. They were already in the room, if you guys remember. And I'm going to use them to go underneath the television and my son's PS4 that I'm going to mount on the wall, as well as his new monitor. Yes, he would like to be a YouTuber just like his mommy. So we're going to get him all set up because his grades were good. And I told him, hun, if those grades are good, you can have whatever you like. All right, guys. 
So I'm having a bit of a dilemma. I'm almost at the end of this design and the issues that I'm having is there's concrete in my ceiling and I bought this light fixture right here from Ikea. It's cute, isn't it? Well, I want to hang it over my son's nightstand, but I am not able to drill into the ceiling because there is concrete in the ceiling, which freaking sucks. So I don't know if I should just try it again. I'm kind of nervous because it's something about drilling up. It's a little bit harder. But if I can do that, my my son's room is going to be legit sick. But we just have to see if I can get this nail to go into this concrete. I don't know. So that needs to be hung up. And I also purchased this roller shade that's really nice. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see it. So I got this roller shade here. Hello guys, so today is the last day of this installation and I am trying to come down with some type of, I don't know, I got a flu shot, you know how that stuff works. It gets you sick and you still may get the flu, but whatever, drinking a lot of water and eating a lot of uh, oranges, trying to like really boost my vitamin C up, but whatever, we're going to power through this because it's my son's birthday weekend and we got to get this room complete so i have to get the artwork printed out at office depot to go in here and then this is my last area to accomplish um also i'm gonna get another lamp because this lamp here is his old lamp but he does have the new the new um light switch with the bulb that changes colors i got that from ikea i think i said that already in this video but basically i'm going to hang his tv using the hangman uh, no stud hanger and i bought this a while ago and i used it in the living room on a 42 inch television and it did an amazing job got the it got my um, tv up without falling so I'm excited I'm gonna use it in here again um, and I'm going to mount his LED lights onto the back of his television as well so without too much talking let me get that started um, but before I commit to where I want to put the television I'm gonna make sure there's a stud somewhere over here so that I can hang up his PS4 
All right, now home stretch was finding some art that would complement this room and I turned to Etsy and I also found some really cool prints with a gaming theme so it just really tied everything in and I was able to finally mount this monitor. Guys, this took me so long and I would have been published this video had I not been a major procrastinator um, when it came to mounting this monitor. But look at it guys, isn't it beautiful?